Hello you ceramic canopies and welcome to another episode of Her First Time, Hayden Plays Cuphead. It has been far, far, far too long. When I say that, it's been about two weeks. Mono has come and gone. Her reign of terror has ended since I've last played this game. The Die House. Let us go forward. Ooh, this is some sweet, smooth jazz, Mr. Dice. You roll me the right way. Well, ain't that a pip? Yep, it is. A pip squeak. Oh, sorry, I'm just really enjoying this sweet, sweet jazz. I wonder who I got to play this. Looks like you really put the kibosh in them debitors. I did. You can head on over to the next aisle. Plenty more marks for you to lean on there. I will slay them all. Okay, that was a bit of a weird little twist. Dive. And quell aisle. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Is that how many souls we've gotten? Soul contracts? Again, I should probably check out all this. It's been so long since I've played it. Let's go. Quell aisle. About two. Guys, hang on. Thank the stars I caught up with you. I believe I found a way out of this mess you're in. I don't know if that's the voice I've always done for him, but it is what I'm going to do now. Hot dog, you have! Your strength is growing. No, that's devilish. You'll soon be a match for no good King Dice and maybe even the devil himself! Yeah, cool. Golly, you really think? Hey, hey, Cuphead. I do, but you'll never get close to the devil unless you already have those soul contracts in hand. So basically, we gotta get him. Only then will you get a chance to turn the tables on that fiend. So when the time comes, do the right thing. Sell your soul, embrace the darkness. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, welcome, soldier smiling. Six million screaming souls, it's a very dark sound from the Manic Street Preachers. It looks like these guys would sing it. Whoever heard of a barbershop trio, not me -o. If you can't find a fort member, will never sound right again. Be a pal and let us know if you spot him, won't you? Spot the difference. Which one? Does he smile a bit more than you guys? You look so sad. Roller coasters. Peppy the Clown and the Carnival Kerfuffle. Oh, the right little kerfuffle is that he's gotten himself into now. Those abuse allegations. A bit of a kerfuffle. A bit of a kerfuffle, all right. I don't know why I was joking about that. It's not a jail laughing matter. Jimmy the Great. The Pyramid Pearl. In Pyramid Pearl. The Pearl Pyramid. What's this little cupcake? The sugar and shimmy. I'm a man, I'm a knot. It's a sugar and shimmy. Good timing, fellas. I just added an upgrade onto our airplanes. Now you can wall up your foes with bombs. I could make a joke about that. Try it out. Your airplanes are now equipped with mini bombs. Switch your weapon anytime during battle. Cheers. Thanks, Mr. Missile. Mr. Missile. Right. What will we do first? How about we travel to ancient Egypt? Prepare to do 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 wallop. Oh, a sad little cuphead cup face. Jafar is just throwing all his treasure at me here. Obviously, I can bury the pink ones. Miss, miss, miss. Don't be smiling at me with that grin, you creep. Oh, his shoes are cool. His shoes are lamps. He's two lamps. That doesn't make sense, does it? That he would be coming out of two lamps. Genies are trapped in one lamp. Don't pay attention to the footwear of the genie. Pay attention to the battle, you moron. Let us go again. Poof. Wallop. Whack. Take it to the face, Mr. Genie. Oh, we've got swords this time. And weird skull faces. That actually isn't... Uh, that's much better and easier to avoid rather than all the treasure. Hopefully he uses... Speak too soon and look like an ass. I know where Jasmine lives. I can give you her number if you just stop being a douche. Okay, so this is Flappy Bird Mineral Eastern Edition. Except it's not really like Flappy Bird at all, is it? Because we're blowing the pillars and there's these bloody things spinning around. I actually quite like the background that looks like an old kind of film just spinning around. It's kind of hypnotic. Coffin. Sarophagus, that's what it meant, not coffin. Difference, Hayden. Blow it up. Ooh, it's like kind of a whole kind of weird dimensional thing. This is funny. Um, I'm learning how to code at the moment. I'm doing that CS50 Harvard thing on EDX. 
and my first game I made on Scratch is called Space Ghosts. So that's quite funny to me. It means nothing to you guys, but seeing ghosts coming out of an interdimensional worm pool just brings back to what I spent my weekend doing. Oh, you've got a bright idea, have you, mate? Make a little puppet of me. You can't pull my strings that easily. Oh, you know, he's doing what I do. Oh, oh. Ditto, like the Pokemon. That's what we have to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Gen 8 of Pokemon. My god, I think it looks D or E A D F U L. I don't know why I needed to spell dreadful. I actually probably spelled dreadful wrong because I'm a moron. This is new a kitten this time. Uh, we've had enough trouble with cats on this Let's Play channel. Mainly we're brothers, one Lucifer. But yeah, I, I just, I think the new Pokemon game, I was really expecting them to Breath of the Wild Pokemon. And what we got really is just a slightly prettier looking DS game based in Great Britannia. The, uh, I'm an Irish man. I mean, our, our, clearly our country is much prettier than England and uh, Scotland and Wales. No, I'm joking about that. I'm joking about that, boy. No, 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 no. What are you saying? What are you saying? I was never in the I or A. <laughs> you see, that joke doesn't translate across the pond because there's differences. There's different I or A's and it's okay to make the jokes about some of them. Not the terrorist faction one. Don't advocate that. But like the original one that fought for the country. Now, that's grand. The I or B, whatever you want to call them. Let's not talk about this. Why am I going down this rabbit hole? Bye bye, Mr. Seraphicus. How did we get from Pokemon to that? The starters look dreadful. That's why. Yeah, just twist your neck there. Get your, get your idea. Go on, try and do it. Try and do it. Let's see how it goes for you. Started, but like, yeah, like the kind of old um, industrial towns and stuff like that. I do like that aesthetic. Like, admittedly, as a proud Irish man, I do think England's pretty great, even because I lived there for a year in London, like 2017, 2018, and I bloody loved it. But, you know... You can't say that, especially when I live out the countryside here, you know. The people think we're still stuck in the 20s or the 10s. Well, we're coming pretty up close to the new 20s, aren't we? And the old 10s have just passed. The older, older 10s, the 1900 10s. <sighs> they need to let the past go. I need to stop talking about this and rambling because I'm a bit of a silly boy. Silly boy. I don't know what has gone on. I see, I got up this morning because... I can't say what I do for work because, you know, blah, 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 blah. But needless to say, at the moment, my contract is quite casual. So I just get called day to day. And I didn't get a call today, even though I worked all last week. And I got up at my usual time, you know, quarter past seven and had my three <laughs> shots of espresso to get me through the day. And then I didn't get a call to go in. So I'm quite full of energy and it has nowhere to go. So that's why I'm doing this now. I'm like, when I am wound up to 90s and I have all this just good caffeine coursing through my veins i just got that good hit of caffeine had some quinoa porridge because i bought laura this recipe but well i bought it for the both of us the happy pear that is all these like health foods and it has a quinoa porridge in it and i had that with like a load of nuts and seeds and shite for breakfast i'm just like i'm, I'm here for life at the moment you know great energy great energy indeed no not lethargic at all not broken and defeated because i kind of need money to pay for a wedding on Friday. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about that at all. Boom, boom, pow. What am I on about? Come on, Mr. Puppet Man. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. Ooh, someone's a big bye. This is just like when Jafar turned into the genie. Well, uh, Jafar was always the red genie. I don't think I've ever seen Aladdin, and I don't really care about the new live action one coming out. Ugh. <sighs> A new volunteer yeah sure you do but yeah uh like i don't have any kind of investment because i think aladdin was one of the few uh disney movies that we didn't have on vhs growing up aladdin is laura's favorite disney movie from what i knew but yeah where was it going with this yeah my really only kind of interaction with that franchise is the disney channel cartoon and of course kingdom hearts because i Kingdom Hearts, the original one, is my favorite game ever. I don't know if I've actually made a video since I've played in Platinum 3. Not the best game ever. 
I'd say like if we're being fair, just as a game, it's probably a seven, maybe a seven. Yeah, I think a seven out of ten. Then with my own personal nostalgia and emotions. Yeah. Whoop 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 whoop. Oh yeah. Is he coughing after smoking his pipe? Silly boy, smokers are jokers. Even though you don't inhale a pipe, so I don't know. Oh, because I beat his ass and smoke went back his throat. Okay. Oh great, did I get? I doubt it's gonna be good. A minus. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. Yeah, jump, jump, jump to jump. Yeah, unlock everything. Dimji the Great. I got his soul contract in my soul kitchen. Come on, one and a band of a band. I don't know the lyrics to this song. I haven't listened to the doors in a very long time. What's in this well? A big creepy man. Through all your battles and all my rhymes. You failed and perished 109 times. I don't think that's fair because I die quite a lot intentionally, just the reset battles. So let's pretend we didn't see that death count and move on with this video. Cupcake lady. Hmm. What is up here? Jelly bean tree. Shop. Cute little girl crossed away. Cuphead might find a lady friend. Always nice. Not necessary. You don't need other people to find happiness. You should find happiness within yourself. Relationships can't complete you. So you've spoken with Codger, this the water being across the aisle. That is something few others can claim. Cool. That's good to know. I've spoken to God. I've seen the, I've seen Jesus. Yeah. He came to me in a what a wet, wet dream. Help, wallop. <laughs> Wet dream, and then we get these guys. Giggity, giggity. Uh, yeah, old man. Ugh. Oh, what was that noise? That was new for me. <sighs> this isn't a mental breakdown. This is just hyperness. I promise you all. Wallop, wallop. Wickedy wallop. Don't judge me with those eyes. Don't look me in the eye. Oh. Oh, because he touched the thing, isn't it? And I, oh, gee, I only got halfway through that. Ready? Yes, I'm always ready. Smack the pink. Taste the pink. Taste the rainbow. Mm, that's not necessarily a good thing. Rainbow kisses. Not, not pleasant. Not pleasant. Don't do that. Don't do that. Never have, actually. Never will. He's like a little whirlwind that was skill on my behalf. We say skill, it wasn't intentional, so luckiness, fluke. I don't know. It's all the one, isn't it? Once I get the job done. That's all I ever aim to do, just get the job done. Mightn't be done with finesse or skill, but it will be completed. Completed. The last piece of the puzzle. Oh, come on, you silly boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Victor, he is mine. Victor! Victor, come to me! Hello? I knew if I rooted around, I could find something special for you, but I didn't know I'd get trapped again. Golly gosh. Thanks for saving me the second time. Take this magical super ad and I'll see if I can find you another. You get going, my lady friend. Miss Chalice, Lady Chalice, whatever your name is. DLC lady, that's what we'll call you. The DLC is coming. All over. Every console. Just everywhere. It's going to get into every nook and cranny. It's going to harden and be really difficult to wash out. And you'll be embarrassed because it smells. Alright, let's take out this clown. <laughs> Shinmu! How are you? Hi! Watch where you're driving that thing, lad. That's more Scottish than West of Ireland. We were, we spent a nut last weekend. Last weekend I watched Umbrella Academy. <laughs> I binged on Umbrella Academy a lot. This is the last few weekends me and Laura have been watching and I got her into Hardy Books. Uh, we've been watching The Vipers, Francis Higgins Let's Plays on YouTube. Good lad, good lad, good lad. Some man for one man. But just the West of Ireland have do this thing like where they put um, H's into words where there should be no H. Mainly after like W's and S's so god damn it not that bad not that bad at all so like one of his greetings in it from the Viper this is our favorite character he's like this um, 
what would you call him idiot that thinks he's like a hard man drug dealer gangster sort of thing but he's just like the village fool and he has these henchmen and like one of them's called stateside so i was like how are you that wasn't it at all one minute okay i'm just gonna spend the next few minutes practicing because i can do an impression of him fairly well let me do this how are you stateside no how are you state no how are you uh. How you stay inside? Uh, no, 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 silly Billy Hayden. And now the phone is ringing, and I can't answer the phone because we're in the middle of this, so we're just gonna have to listen to that ring, ring, ring. I don't know if I'll be able to get rid of that in post, but at least it made me stop trying to do terrible impressions of the Viper. Go watch his um kind of videos on RT UK. They're quite funny as well. Of like, there's a lot of them from around the time of the presidential run in America. Trump's the one with. Just he's going around New York and Washington and stuff and just being an absolute fool and it's silly and funny and just good wholesome comedy taking the Mickey out of the state of the world. I Kiabla Xylophone When the river takes you over Xylophone I Kiabla This I I don't know why, but every carnival level it doesn't remind even though it should be sonic too what it reminds me of but this level in particular reminds me of that area in near automata the amusement park great game one of my favorite games of last year one of the few games i've had i, I buy all my games um physically i don't really like digital because i never have decent internet but normally I'd trade them back in afterwards as soon as I'm done to try and get as much value back for them as possible. So I can kind of like, I have a little circle of life going with my games. That's one of the few that I actually kept. It did no get traded back in because it's one of the ones that made an impact. Uh, that's, I, I don't know why I did that actually. Cause like I loved God of War as well. Like I thought God of War was up, was my game of the year last year and I traded that in. But then again, I did get a filthy, not a filthy amount, but it basically when I had traded it back then, it worked out that I had basically spent a fiver on one of the best games I've ever played. So, you know, can't knock that. <laughs> Blast it. Oh, he looks like he's loving that. Doesn't he? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Look, stop, you creepy boy. Oh, no, we're trapped. No. Oh. That was by the skin of my chinny, chin, chin. Blast. Blast off. Blast him in the face. You are a disgrace. What's going on here? He looks to be defeated. But clearly that's not the last stage. Because I would have said in victory and knockout. And now he looks like something quite phallic. Kind of even a bit like a mushroom, but it's just an umbrella, umbrella, which just shows where my mind goes, because I'm a bad person. Dance, little penguins. Oh, God damn it. I thought they were going to jump at me, not shoot baseballs at me. Mm, close to the end. That's good. A tumbler. That's quite funny. What do you call a cup that falls off a tree? A tumbler. You're a gas man. A gas man all together. Pepe? Is it Pepe? I forget your name already. I should really be paying more attention to that. <sighs> hmm. There we go. I'm getting good at this. Bye bye, duh. Bye bye, duckies, duckies, goodbye. And just use my shotgun. Those little fools now need to go bye bye fairly fast. They remind me of Muttley out of uh, Wacky Racers or the Dig Dastardly and Muttley cartoon Catch the Pigeon. I don't know how it was technically called Catch the Pigeon though, wasn't it? There was another name on it. I don't know. That's what I refer to it as. And that's all that matters. I'm getting good at this now. I have a pattern down. Let's not jinx myself. Keep your mouth shut, you silly, silly boy. Bye bye, baby, baby, goodbye. Goodbye. We actually went to the theater at the weekend. We do that whenever there's a f the Abbey in Dublin do previews at the start of every month of like the new show that's come. And we always you have to queue outside for like two hours, but it means you get to go to you get a bit of culture for free because you know broke millennials. And what was on this month was end uh, Edna O'Brien's The Country Girls. 
which was a book that was released in the 60s in Ireland and was banned because it was just scandalous. Showing girls having relationships before they were married, going against their parents' wishes, moving to Dublin, living in cities, you know, all wild, scandalous things altogether. But it was a stage adaption of it and it was pretty, pretty, pretty good. The stage design itself was incredible. Knockout! That looks creepy. I don't know why he's coming out like that. <sighs> what will my results be on that one? Nearly two minutes. I felt like it went quicker. A B. I felt like I did better there than I did against the genie. Hmm. Not fun at all. Right, we got Pepe the Clown, Soul Contract. Another two done. One step closer to the devil himself. The devil in me is a devil indeed, but the devil in you is something. Don't know what that means, but it sounds deep. Oh, uh, what's that song? I'll think of it for next week. Um, what can I say except thank you for joining me again. This is the longest Cuphead episode we've had yet. I'll see you back here on Friday for Laura's continued adventures through Dark Souls. Goodbye. So long, farewell, I love you.